Caroline, I'm Marlene, and I'm Debrel, and, and this, this is Fighting Farmers, Farmers TV. TV. So driver's ed class starts today in room D105 at Main, 4.30 to 6.30. And do you like pumpkins? There's going to be a family pumpkin fun walk at the Memorial Park Rec Center, October 6th, I mean October 10th, <laughs> starting at 8.30 to 1.30 p.m. Are you in an unhealthy relationship? Well, you're in luck because the Louisville Public Library has partnered with Denton County Friends of the Family to offer a program for real teens getting real. The first workshop is today, Wednesday, October 7th at 4.30 p.m. in the Crawford Meeting Room. And you also know your teachers handed out badges last week, so that means if you don't have your badge, they're coming down and starting to hand out lunch attentions. But don't worry. Don't worry, if, you're at, if you were absent on picture day, there'll be retakes October 8th. So tomorrow. That's the, yeah, that's the. There's going to be an orchestra concert also tomorrow, the 8th, in the auditorium at 7 p.m. Pink out is tomorrow. There also will be a bake sale before and after school to, in honor of the October being the Natural Breast Cancer Awareness Day. All money goes from the bake sale will go donated to the Susan B. Coleman nonprofit for breast cancer research and fundraised for Mrs. Troy's Walk for the Cure team. All baked items and ribbons will be sold for $1, so don't forget to bring your money. Yes. Now for our first for our episode home. of Harmon's, Harmon's Got, Got Dares. TJ Daniels. Yeah. Shout out. Good morning, Farmer Fibers! We are here, Mrs. Brockman, Mrs. Stopper, and we are having a not-so-live rendition of Farmer Five. But since you are now watching Fighting Farmer TV, then this is our way to get to see you. Okay, so do you see them? Do you see all the amazing farmers out I there, do. Mrs. Brockman? Whoa! Like, I don't even know what to say. Sometimes it wouldn't... You see something amazing, like kids who are following our Farmer 5 code, mm -hmm. then we should give them something for that. We should, we should, I agree. But what would, what would we give them? Because I don't even, I don't, I don't know what we should do. Mm. Candy? Candy? Is that against the rules, anybody? Okay, candy, because we said so. So, candy could be coming your way if you are willing to be a Farmer 5 in action, per se. And that means you have to get an award to get the candy. But here's what we know, your teachers are ready to give that candy out. Well, actually, they're not gonna be the ones that give you the candy. We have to let Mr. Fontana do that. Right. You know, that's what he's here for. He's that big guy, Mr. Fontana. So we gotta let him give you the candy. After all, he is the one that makes the big bucks. Right? That's right. But. What would they have to do to get a Farmer 5 in Action Award, Mrs. Brockman? I'm thinking that if they were to be actively learning, mm -hmm. acting responsibly, Good. honoring their education, acting respectfully, 
or practicing safety and got recognized by a teacher. That might get you a Farmer 5 and Action Award. But only if they're in class. This can only happen if you're in class. Right? No. We gotta be Farmer 5 and Action everywhere, Miss Topper. Everywhere? Everywhere. So that means like it could happen in the hallway. It could happen in the hallway. Cafeteria? Yes, the cafeteria is a good one. Yep. Because you know, you want to be extra respectful to those awesome cafeteria ladies. And it could happen like uh, even at a sporting event. For sure. It really could. I mean, what if y'all went to something extracurricular? You even went to a choir concert and you like did something amazing? They could get a Farmer 5 an action award. Now, there are ways we have to get this out. First okay. of all, a teacher has to see it. Right. Has to see it in action. Farmer 5. Action. Can't like it happened and then you tell us about it and we didn't see it. No. Has to be like something you want to do. So, I'm going to pretend like this guy over here named Logan oh, is our first Farmer 5 in action guy. Woo! We should invite him, right? Come on, Come on Logan. Logan. Come on. Hurry. Like, he's trying to be a fast actioneer. And there he, he is. is. Would you like to give him a Farmer 5 in action? Y'all should show this. I would. Oh my word, Logan. I noticed you guarding the door to make sure that no one would come in here. And I really feel like that you were acting responsibly just then. So I think I need to fill this form out and give it to you. It's Farmer, fact, Farmer 5 in action award. So I would give that to you. It would have my name on it. And I would write down what you did. And we're going to do that today. Okay. So. She's gonna fill that out, and then guess what? She's gonna turn it into the office. Mr. Fontana is gonna come on his announcements, and then he's gonna say, uh, just need to give a Farmer 5 an action award out to Logan Franklin. Franklin. See, Franklin. And then he would go to the office, and he would get his candy. And I know he likes candy, because he's always trying to get that from Mr. McDonald to me, which will never happen, because we don't give candy out in class, but he can get it as a Farmer 5 in action guy. And then we are going to post this and then there'll be a bigger drawing at a later date. And if he's on there a couple of times, then guess what? He might win because he'll have a better chance. So now it's your duty, farmers, to be a Farmer 5 in action, kiddo. Right? Yes. Right. He wasn't really putting antlers behind my head. All right. We'll see you next time. Thanks, Ms. Brockman. Thank you, Ms. Stopper. All right. It's all good. If anyone is interested in joining Junior World Affair Council, they should come by Ms. Seeliger's room, 1502, to sign up and pick up an information sheet. And Thursday, immediately after school, the Junior World Affair Council and National Honor Society will be holding a campus-wide cleanup. Please meet between 1400 and 1500 hallways, and for any of the National Honor Society members or applicants, this will be a great time to earn community service hours. Yes. The Junior World Affair Council and the National Honor Society have also been holding a food drive this week for the Louisville CCA Food Bank. Any donations, preferably canned food, will be great, uh, greatly appreciated. Great. Please bring them into the room, 1502, before school ends this week. This, this week. Oh yeah, this week. And Mr. Vernon has agreed to the NHS applicants that for every 10 items you donate, will own one hour of community service. Six hours are, to are needed for the NHS application approval. Alright, now there's a video the counselors wanted to talk to us about sexting. <laughs> yes. I know. Algebra is so satisfying. X equals extreme joy. No, Jill. I finally have a girlfriend, and she just walked by. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, she's already in pre-calc. I think she's the one. Now, if only she'd say yes to sending me some exclusive pics. Exclusive what? You know, like ones where she doesn't have her protective case on. Marcus, you've been asking her to... Definitely. All the other guys say that when it's serious, you gotta get some of those pics. I've asked her a couple times, but she's been unsilent about it. <gasps> Can you calculate the odds of her sending me a pic of her battery if I ask her again? <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm.
By my calculations, he's about to be minus one girlfriend. Is it okay to pressure someone for nude pics? PSAT testing will be on October 14th, so study if you can in any way possible, any way, because I know I am and I really hope you will. Did y'all know homecoming is around the corner, up the block, two streets to the left? Well, it's close. Just because we don't have school on Friday doesn't mean you shouldn't be at school. Yeah, you know why? Sure. You should be here decorating for our homecoming. For our homecoming hallway on Friday, 9 a.m. 9 a.m. and it's at 3 p.m. So it's not that long. <laughs> don't forget to dress up with your school spirit for an unexpected shout out. And then on Tuesday, it's jet lag day. Pajama is, day. Pajamas. And then on Wednesday, it's tacky tourist day. day. And you get to write chalk on the sidewalks at Maine at 3.45. Thursday, wear your homecoming t-shirt. The parade starts at 6 p.m. and a pep rally right after. Woo! Friday, Mom and Garter Day, tailgate party at Maine, parking lot at 4.45 to 6.45. And then on Saturday, it's the homecoming dance. Oh my gosh, we need to get down, okay. It starts at 8 to 11 p.m. And now our first edition of Farmer Sports News featuring Chewy, Chewy and Sam. Sam. That's my boy. <laughs> Thanks, Marlene and Debrell. I'm Sam. And I'm Chewy. And this is FSBN. Football against Allen last week was not a very pretty sight with a 52-7 loss. This week, we hope to turn it around and beat those Fire Mountain Jaguars. Oh, also, varsity cost will be at Lake Park on October 10th. Also, October 13th will be a pink out for the volleyball game at home versus Claremont. The times are 5.30 freshman A, 6.30 freshman B, JV1 will play at 6, and JV2 will play at 7.30. And last but not least, varsity will play at 7. If you didn't know, the girls' soccer team is having a pancake trial. It will happen October 10th from 7.30 to 10. It's $10 a ticket and will be here, held at the Applebee's here in this week. Hope to see y'all there. Um, the next upcoming baseball game will be Saturday at home. They are currently 3-1 and, and strive to be 4-1. Thank you guys for watching and this has been FSPN. We're here Friday the 9th and Monday the 12th. There's no school. Uh, have a great four-day weekend, but don't forget. Abbott is having, having a car wash. They are having at Kane's by LHS Maine at on, 9 a.m. on Saturday. Saturday. Sorry, it's Saturday. Sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that ends our show. Okay, bye. Do the loo.